Hi, my name is Aldrich Harry de los Santos. The first artwork that I chose is the Eclipse by Eugene Atget. This artwork was created in the year 1911 and was printed in 1956. I found this artwork in the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Eugene Atget is considered as the father of street photography. He never considered himself as a street photographer and rather to be called collector of documents. Regardless, his actions showed his philosophy of tenacity and hard work. He photographed Paris for decades, using the same equipment to capture the city as faithfully as he could in its entirety. Eugene also took pictures of the society not only to collect different beautiful sceneries and events but to also help the society by bringing up different problems that occur every day in the community. He captures socially conscious street photography, where it shows the ills and unfairness of society to make a statement about these situations to the whole world. This artwork is about the eclipse that happened in Paris's Place de la Bastille on April 17, 1912 where the crowd gathered and they were observing the eclipse happening. Eugene mostly focused on the infrastructure and scenery without people in it, this photograph is an unusual example that focuses on a crowd of people. The medium of this artwork is gelatin silver printing out paper print. The dimension of this artwork is 6 and 7 16 inches by 8 and 5 8 inches. I feel that this artwork is culturally significant because Eugene took photographs where it did not focus on the crowd but focused more on significant places and location. This is significant as well because it shows that there was an eclipse on that day and it shows the clothing of the people at those times and it shows how different the wealthy people are from the unfortunate ones. It shows different variations of clothing of wealthy people and it shows that they have the money to buy equipment to take a look at the eclipse. The color in this artwork is black and white. It clearly tells the audience that this photograph was taken using the old camera where it only creates black and white colors. As you can see in the photo, you can see them using a little device that people hold to see the eclipse. Another interesting thing is that this photo was made two days after the Titanic sank. So the Titanic would be in the minds of the people who were looking at the eclipse. As you can see in the upper left corner of the image where you see a dark area involved, it happened because the lens might have been misaligned with the back of the camera, called vignette effect. This photo is not cropped as well and it was printed by placing a photo paper that would come into contact with these negatives and compress them under the sun where it made the photograph appear. With the negative effect of light. The second artwork that I chose is the poppies and bees. This artwork was made by Paul de Longpre in 1906. I found this artwork in the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Paul de Longpre was an American French painter and is well known for his delicate watercolors of flowers and accurately detailed work. Paul focused more on flowers his entire career. His artworks were produced in some magazines and seed packaging. He was born in 1855 in Lyon, France, and he was also a self-taught artist. Paul de Longpre knew how to give expression to the essence of the flowers. He is well known for his finest paintings which are the double peach blossoms and white fringed poppies which are both widely known for reproductions. This artwork is a very detailed artwork of Paul de Longpre. As you can see in the artwork, every fine detail of the leaves, petals, stem, the main flowers and even the bees around it is clearly detailed. He also used bright water colors to put contrast in his paintings. To put more depth and realistic representation of the flowers he is painting. The lines are also precise and there is no imperfection in his artwork. It shows how he wants his artwork to be perfect and accurate. He put so much attention to detail in his every artwork that is the reason why people love his artwork. Paul de Longpre's artwork may be a straightforward type of artwork but his artwork is really precise and wonderful. The inspiration for him to do these kinds of paintings is his own garden. His artwork is culturally significant because he gives attention to the flowers and plants around us. He took care of many flowers to make it his inspiration. It is significant because when he finishes his paintings, some people buy his artworks and people may want to do the same by planting flowers and other plants that will be helpful for our environment. It also brings peace of mind to the people when they are staring at it because it relaxes our minds by just looking at it. He used to live in France and moved to New York City. 
After moving to New York he decided to go to Southern California, in Los Angeles to be exact. When a reporter asked him about why they moved from New York to Los Angeles he responded simply. Sated with the culture of the old world, and with the restless ambition of New York, this famous painter of flowers has come to seek new inspiration in the brilliant. Sun-warmed blossoms of California. That there is nothing here to stimulate the intellectual life of an artist, M. DeLongpre frankly admits, but intellectual stimulus is not what he is seeking. He has had that all his life. What he wants now is sunshine and flowers, and he declares that these will content him as long as he can wield the brush. He intends to spend the rest of his days in Southern California.